Living Plan. Now, the Healthy Living Plan, everyone has the right to hear about the HLP, the Healthy Living Plan. Uh, I think that many times we, as people, make decisions for other people. We think that they maybe they don't need to hear about it. They don't need the hundred dollars. They have plenty of money. Or I don't think those people uh, would want to hear about a business. But that isn't our place to make that decision. We need to let them decide. Yeah, you know, not you. You don't decide for them. Your job is to make sure that you're sharing that information, and then let them decide about uh, how they want to take that information in and and uh, process that, uh, and then maybe join you or not. I mean, it, it could be that they don't, but they still need to make that decision. But I think when you hear some of the verbiage we're going to use today, you're going to see that it's easier for them to make that decision uh, to join us. Uh, and remember, it, this is part of good customer care. I mean, if you're going to take care of somebody, if you're going to build that relationship, wouldn't you want them to know that there's a way for them to get uh, a better value on their product? Because we're offering a program when there's, where there's not only $100 that we send to them uh, as part of the program, but we uh, then put them in the system so they can get the return of the retail sales product. Uh, profit on the orders. So obviously, we would want to take care of our people and let them know um, that they had that opportunity. If we don't, we're really kind of being um, narrow-minded in our thinking. We want to make sure that we're assisting and, and uh, giving value. Um, but what about your existing customers? You know, when I talk to many of my distributors, when I'm having conversations with them, uh, they will admit that, oh, we have a healthy living plan, that any time I've got somebody new that I'm coming in to uh, our program with us are taking the Juice Plus, I let them know about the Healthy Living Plan. Uh, matter of fact, particularly when they're a raving fan, when they're new and they're a raving fan, or maybe when they're, I'm having the first conversation. But then my question is, but you've been with us for a long time. I know that you must have lots of distributor, I mean, customers already in your organization. What about them? Uh, are we leaving them out or they don't get the benefit? Remember, they are already in your funnel. They are already raving fans. I bet if I could open this up and ask questions of, of many of you out there, you would tell me that you have some customers that have been uh, taking the Juice Plus and eating whole fruits and vegetables with us for years, and yet now you've not gone back and let them know that we've got something new. So I think that that's important uh, to remember that we can go back and use um, you know, our funnel for the Raven fan by going back in and finding our existing customers. So you need to connect with them. Go back and have that conversation. Um, Renee O'Neill said that once she started using the funnel, she went back and, and just made herself a commitment. She went back and called every one of her customers to let them, uh, to connect with them and build that relationship stronger because she understood that our mission meant connecting with those people. But um, I'm calling this Healthy Living Plan a thank you program because what are we doing? We're sending them $100, but it's a, a thank you. So it's a thank you program called the Healthy Living Plan. Now, how would you open up those conversations? I mean, there could be several ways. You might just give them a call, of course. Uh, you might just run into them because they're your neighbors and you go next door to have a cup of coffee. It could be you invite them to your home for a healthy living party. Um, you know, so it's called Customer Appreciation Day. You're just trying to connect with them. You meet them at Starbucks, whatever it might be, just making sure you set up some sort of contact. But normally, a call is, is probably the easiest way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some verbiages uh, in different formats, different ways that you can use, and hopefully they'll be helpful to you.